with the season now very much in full swing, North America stepped back up to the plate. See, we know American football. Of all the tournament's slam dunks, these are our favorite three. A new star emerges. Guys, you gotta wish me luck doing this without making a single cheese pun, because this man is more than a Rocket League pro with a great name. Over the last two open qualifiers, he has proven himself as one of the region's top talents. Immediately picking up right where they left off. This is good solid control there for Cheese, and where's the defense? Luminosity Gaming, led by Cheese's sheer brilliance, gate crashed the grand finals for the first time in the org's history. Only Rettles on the team had a top two finish under his belt until now. The last one, by the way, was almost two years ago. So this first thrust into the limelight will put LG in great stead for the rest of the season. I guess you could say the cream cheese is really rising to the top. <laughs> oh, I was so close. G2 drop a game. Let's get it out the way now. G2, they won again. And by the way, in spectacular fashion. But Rettles able to get the save out. Beast mode again, picking up the ball, has atomic midfield, plays it low! Crikey, they're good. At least Luminosity went one step further than Gen G had two weeks prior, battling to bag a grand final game and avoid the whitewash. It could have been so much more. Rettles, fake challenge, but Beast mode called the bluff and banked the shot. That demo takes out cheese, and that takes out 90% of the luminosity offense. No, what and the? Everybody parts. If G2 Esports are going to do a last season spring vitality and win three online RLCS events in a row, you'd expect this weekend's challenge to be their toughest yet. The field closes with the. <laughs> 4-1 win, G2 became the first NA team to qualify for Copenhagen. Copenhagen? I don't know, you decide. As for the rest, it is close. All the way up to number 10. If you win qualifier three, you clinch. Just three points separate Dignitas in fourth, with Rebellion in tenth. For context, OG looked down and out after going 0-5 in series across two qualifiers. One late rally later, and their first two series wins secured, they clawed their way to the semi-finals, proving perfectly how much a single good run can catapult you up the points rankings. It really is still all to play for, with three major spots up for grabs. Tune in this weekend to find out who comes out on top when it's all on the line.